In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Save Management function. I'm going to open parts 1, 2, and 3, but now I'll open from a remote location. As you can see here, they're sitting on a server. I highlight the parts, click Open, and I'm going to create a new file, a new assembly. Product, click OK. Let's tile these documents. And I'm going to create a quick assembly here. I'll be explaining in subsequent tutorials what I'm up to here. Okay, here is the product one assembly. Let's save it. Save. Instead of doing it on the remote server, I'm going to do it on my computer. Product one is my folder. I'll use the default name, product one dot cat product. Save. What's actually happening right now? As you can see, the product one dot cat product document is saved on my computer. But uh, parts one, two, and three are not here. So let's check to see where they're at. Activate product one. Select edit. Links. Like you see here. All three parts, they're still on the server. Click Cancel. What I'll do now is use the Save Management function instead. Now you can see Product1.cat product is located on this computer. Highlight it. Click Save As. I'm going to overwrite this file. Click Save. Katia prompts me with a warning. It's OK. Parts 1, 2, and 3 are still on the server. What I do now is click Propagate Directory. As you can see, Katia saved parts 1, 2, and 3 on my hard drive. Click OK. Now we can see Product 1 and Parts 1, 2, and 3 right here on my computer. If I check the link, I see that these parts are now local. And this concludes our Save Management tutorial.